what I see is we actually need to encourage failure, right, and celebrate it in, right. in the business because that's how you get um, a whole bunch of crazy ideas through some sort of validation process to understand which one of those crazy ideas actually is a great idea because it's, it's sometimes not obvious. Um, and I think what, what I've seen in NAB is a complete change in the way we approach innovation. If I go back a few years, we made a decision to outsource everything and we had no internal technical staff. And what that did is it absolutely stifled innovation because if somebody wanted to run an experiment, they had to approach a outsourcer, they had to get a quote, they had to fill in a statement of work, the, the, the price would come to, sometimes come back at over a million dollars. It just, there was no chance to do any, a, a light touch experiment. Everything that we did had to be a massive experiment where the stakes were multi-millions of dollars if it failed. And then, then failure's bad, right, if you've wasted millions of dollars. And so what we've done is we've changed the way we approach things. We've brought in cloud. With cloud, you can spin up servers and an environment in a few minutes. You can pay a few dollars for it, and you can try out your, your idea. And if it fails, you've wasted, well, you haven't even wasted, you've, you've um, proven an idea with an investment of a few hours and a few dollars. And if you come back and say it didn't work, it was a, a, a complete flop, and you do that in a morning, everyone's like, Good on you. What's the next idea? Right. It's the cloud, it's CICD, it's decoupled environments, it's young, enthusiastic people that you bring into the organisation that don't know what can't be done. That's something I really look for in some of the people I'm bringing into the business now. I really want people that, that won't tell you that it can't be done because they've, they've tried it before in a really big experiment and it failed and it was so painful that they never want to do try that again right. and so they're, they're, the, they're the people that, tell you that that know what can't be done we don't we won't we're not looking for those people we're looking for the people that don't know what can't be done if you think about my job my job is to provide those tools out to the workplace, they're my customers, yep. and as my customers change, I need to change the way I serve those customers. And they want tools like Workplace, and Workplace is actually a tool that's really familiar to, yep. to Gen Ys and people that, we, that are coming on board now, they really want it, and so it, it, it's a great way for me to, to enable them with the tools that they need to do their job in a way that they like to do their job. Yep.